At times, you may want to execute certain logic on the client side. These are called client actions in our systems. In this video, I will show you how to use them. Once again, this is my service studio. I'm inside a reactive web application. It's uh, empty as of now, there's nothing inside. I'll start by creating a new screen. I'm going to add two numbers to show you the concept of client actions. So I'm naming my screen as add. I'll also give it a title. On this screen, I'll have a couple of variables to help me with uh, the addition. So where one, since I'll be adding them, let all of them be integers. I'm going to copy this and paste control C, control V to make sure uh, the data types and all the variables are there. And one more. Okay. And this would be the sum of these two together. I can also display maybe one more to display the time so that we are sure of it's getting executed on the client side. Now thereafter, we'll, I'll, I'll build the screen. So for my screen, I'll create a few input fields. One, two, uh, maybe a button for adding these two and an expression for displaying the sum, which I can also directly take from here. Okay. Next thing is uh, the time now. Maybe we can display this field here. Uh, you will notice some errors here, which is basically highlighting that some of these input fields are not assigned to any variable at the moment. So the first input field goes to where one, the second input field goes to where two. And then we'll configure the button. Let's start by renaming it to add. That's how, what we want to do. And this field here will display the sum of uh, these two, okay? So in this case, uh, there are multiple ways of creating a logic on the client side. The first one is uh, by uh, seeing the properties of this button here. There is an event called on click. You can expand it to access all the client actions. You can create one, a new one, by clicking in here and creates the add on click for you. For buttons especially, and I'm going to do control Z to undo this to show you another one. So for buttons especially, if you just double click on the button, it also does the same thing. Now there are two ways of adding these numbers. One is at the screen level. Uh, directly. So I'll just use the assignment operator here to assign summation into the sum field. So this will be the where one plus where two. You can do this kind of scripting here. That will be the sum. In the same assignment operator, I can also assign the value to the time now. The platform is giving me suggestions to use current time function and it should be okay. Let me just make sure things looks fine. Let me go ahead and publish it. So what we have done, basically we have prepared the screen to add two numbers and uh, bind it to a logic that is getting executed on the screen level to add these two numbers. Basically, you can use it for some validations, calculations, and so on and so forth. I'm launching it now to see the result. So maybe the first wheel can be three, four, some should be seven, and the time is 12.33, which is same as my local time in my laptop here. Now, even though the logic works perfectly fine. There's one issue though. Here in this kind of structure, if you see, notice the screen, the screen has these variables and then the function, the screen logic, the client action is also there in the screen. Uh, this makes it not accessible by other screens or other applications. Uh, so it does affect the reusability of this logic. Imagine hypothetical situation where you want to add two numbers again, you will not be able to use this again, right? In other screens. So for that, what you can do is basically create a client action outside the screen. So if I just disable it, okay. So instead of doing the addition here, I could have created a new client action, something like this. It allows me to pick up existing client actions. Since I don't have any at the moment, I can create a new client action. And then within this client action, if you see, it basically gets created under the logic tab as a new client action. Let's give it a name. So right now what I'm doing is creating a reusable piece of logic that, uh, can add two numbers. So this will have a couple of input parameters. Let's create the same structure. We would need two number, number one, integer platform is helping with data types. Number three will be the sum, but this will be the output. So I'll right click and convert to output parameter. And if you want to return the timeline also from this logic can also be written. So now for addition, we will provide the logic same way as we did earlier. Uh, assignment operator does the job. So the sum output variable can get the summation of number one plus number two. That's one. And then for the time now, 
let's run the time now. So this particular reusable function now can return these values. To make sure it's reusable, you select the client action and make sure you turn the public property to yes. That's how we make the client logic reusable. You'll notice an error here. Uh, the error is pointing to assignment of the variables from our logic here. Okay, so now from the screen action add on click, which is this one, we are not doing the addition directly here, but we are calling another client action, reusable client action, where we have to supply the values. So number one will have variable one, number two will have variable two. And then this piece of logic, as you notice here, returns sum and time now, which we'll have to capture at this level. So we'll use assignment operator and we'll say the sum variable on the screen gets the sum from add numbers client action dot sum which is just by selecting it and then the time now on the screen gets the time now from add numbers dot time now so as you can imagine this is pretty simple but you can use it for complex things when you build real applications i made these changes and i'm publishing it again so platform is doing its version management and compiling the application once again and it's done I'm not expecting any changes in the way the screen behaves. It's just the, uh, another way of structuring your application, which focuses more on reusability. I'll show you in a while what that means. Almost uh, there. All right, so the app is ready now. One screen, let's launch it to test again. Uh, let me do the same numbers, three and four. Sum is seven and we still get the time, same as my local. So still, uh, we don't lose the functionality. It's, everything is on the client side. Uh, it's just uh, there's a better way of structuring the code as a reusable piece of logic here. What that means is, for example, notice that now here I'm in a web app. If I have to add two numbers again from another application, let's say this mobile application, now I can refer to that piece of logic from web app by using the manage dependency button, looking for the application. So it tries to find out all the reusable stuff that you have in your environment. So uh, the huge for managed dependencies to show you all the other applications and plugins that you have. And uh, thereafter, you can look for the one that you're looking for. That's web app. That's the web application. And then it shows you that reusable piece of logic that you've just made public on the other side. And it shows you the input and parameters. So imagine you're working with your colleague, the other developer. He can now reuse your logic that you added. You just have to select it and apply. What it does is on the logic side, now it adds a reference to that particular logic. What that means is, in case in his application now want to use it, you just have to drag and drop. No need for implementing it all over again. Thanks for watching.